everybody, my name's Ardendris, and welcome back to Tenshura Reincarnated. Last time, we went out for a little bit of an exploration, trying to become a dragon slayer in hope of getting the essence. On top of just some, like, regular exploration where we were finding some cool new creatures as well, like there's feathered serpents or something like that off in the distance, that we tried to fight and died. Then we found a giant frog that we tried to fight and died. And we found salamander demons in the nether that we tried to fight and died. Can you sense the theme here? But anyways, yeah, we are. We keep finding cool new creatures and dying. But dragons are no issue. <laughs> the only problem with dragons is that they can fly and I have to try and get them while getting breath attacked. But other than that, I can just take them down no problem. So... That's, that's all cool. We did some dragon slaying. I don't know if I'm actually going to be using dragon armor. I think this stuff might just be better, especially when it's fully evolved. Because right now it's all tier A, and then there's an A+, plus or S class, or special class. I don't remember what it is. It's one of the above. Plus, eventually, this should get special uh, uh, effects on it. I don't know, there's commands for the special effects, but I don't know how they actually work. Like, it's something to do with this engrave. I think this is... Fear your piercing is not holding any item. Okay, so you can engrave and... Uh, in yeah, I have no idea how that stuff works. I'm not sure if I should be able to do that or if that is an, op an operator-only command or whatever. No idea. Anyways, between episodes, what did I get up to? Well, I went back to the nether, and I got the missing netherite, so now I need a little bit of gold. Just go like so. We can finally make a second netherite ingot, and this is going to get used to make the kiln. I just need an extra blast furnace, which I have, and I need enough iron for a couple of cauldrons, and I need a couple pieces of obsidian. Also, between episodes, I did a little bit of exploration in the nether. I now have two wither skeleton skulls, and I wasn't even trying. And apparently, some of the brutal boss mobs, like, those are those opponents we fought a couple of times where they just have, like, special effects on them. They have, like, a name, like, something the drowned or sergeant something. Apparently, they can just drop some of the Tenshura stuff, because one of them dropped a demon essence. And then I killed, like, an evil chicken, which was also from that mob, from that mod. I don't know, but it gave us this cool hat for, uh, that gives us an extra level of looting. So, I don't know, some of those weird random bosses apparently have some good loot on them. So, uh, definitely gonna be on the lookout for them. They're apparently higher priority than I was giving them. Anyways, I distracted myself. Um, I need two cauldrons... Oh yeah, I also have a little bit of stuff to go over for skills. As you saw right there, and based on those, I just maxed out Aura Shield. Um, does, does it actually do anything different now? Um, X, I now have an Aura Shield, though this one doesn't have an EP amount. I'm confused, why would I... What did maxing out- what did maxing that do actually do? It didn't affect my, like, HP. Oh, those lizards! No, not the lizards! No! <laughs> Stupid fish, you will pay for that. Um, where is my- Where's Steel Strength? There it is. I need to turn you on and this. Get over here, fish. I'm coming to get you. Ow. Thank you, Danger Sense, for telling me that there is danger. I couldn't have figured that out. <laughs> Anyways, revenge. Um, so we just maxed out Aura Shield. It didn't give us anything, but I'm still fine with doing that, because I got a little bit of intel. Apparently, if you max out 20 battle wills and various magic skills, you can get a very good ability called Sage, which is going to apparently boost our learning speed. So I definitely want to do that. Sad thing is, we can't showcase magic yet until I can find a special structure. And even then, it's going to be a bit tricky, so we'll have to wait on that a bit. Um, 
Oh yeah, I also got iron and gold upgrades for my backpack after beating some random boss thing. Um, where are you? Here's the button I'm looking for. I knew it was somewhere in there. So, upgrade you to iron, upgrade you to gold. A whole lot of extra space now. Very nice. Put that there. And then... Oh yeah, one more thing I want to showcase. Um, skills. We had un we had gotten the we had gotten the diamond path ability last time too, but I had yet to learn it. So while I was in the Nether gathering netherite, I just went ahead and learnt this, did the whole thing, and now if I activate it, I get all blue and gold, uh, blue and glowy, and have an extra ten pieces of armor. So yeah, that's a pretty good skill. And I, it doesn't have a timer or something like that, but I know it runs out. Um, doesn't have a cooldown there. I'm gonna have to use this a hundred times. I'm not entirely sure. This might become always on armor like our other skills, or it might not. I'm not sure. And then Gravity Field is also about to be maxed out, so that's gonna be a good thing to find out. Anyways, I have distracted myself. Kiln. We were making a kiln. Um... How does this work again? Right, I still need the two cauldrons, which I already made. Kiln, here we go. <laughs> the better smelter. So this thing just sort of exists. And smeltery. No recipes. Okay, you put things in there and it smelts down into, like, its liquid materials. You put things in here. Okay, hold on. Am I understanding how this works correctly? Um, where is my raw magic ore? If I put you in here... Um, let's just do eight to start with. And I add in a bit of coal. Okay, this is going to smelt up eight, I'm assuming. Which will put liquid molten... Which will put molten magisteel in here. Each of these is worth 0.25. Okay, okay, I understand how this works. And then I can show recipes here. 0.25 of that. Can I make another right straps? Apparently I can. Um Let's see, where's the Magisteel stuff? So if I get one, I can get a pure Magisteel ingot. Four and some iron will get me high magisteel. Silver can be smelted in here, low magisteel with iron. Um, okay. Okay, I think I see how this works. Nine to get a pure magisteel ingot. Um, I probably have enough for that. Like, let's see, it's four. Okay, how do I make you not do pure magisteel? Can I... do I have to take that, or can I click something else? Let's just smelt up all of this. There's an... three. Like, if I let this build up an extra four, is it going to do something else? Um, actually it needs to be... it needs to go up to nine in order to do the... like, full ingot, right? Um, oh, I don't have enough, do I? I'm going to need to go gather more if I want pure Magisteel. Either that, or I can try adding some iron, too, and get the weaker stuff. I don't know, this is going to take some trial and error, because I don't entirely know what I'm doing with this. But what, what just happens if I take this nugget? Okay, so that just... Okay, I think I see. This is saying that currently, if I wanted to take something out of it, I would get a nugget. And then I'm assuming I can just run this back in, right? Yeah, I just have to smelt it back down for an extra one. But every time I take one of these, it uses up a w Okay, okay. So that nugget's just in the middle to show you that that is what would currently come out of it. So if I manage to build up enough, it will fix itself. Cool, 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 cool. So, I guess I'm going to need to go gather some more Magisteel, because I don't think I currently have enough for everything I want.
I, I want to try and get one nugget, or one ingot at least, to see if that gives me the recipe uh, schematic sheet or whatever. Because I want to try making some of these cool new gears. I don't want to use, like, boring old swords anymore. So, uh, I guess I'm hopping underground to try and get out there more of that real quick. I literally had to click your gravity field one more time, and now it is mastered. Okay. So what does it give us now? I think it already gave us speed, too, so that's not different. Does gravity field become a gravity field? You can gravity around yourself. If, or does it have a new... Okay, so it has a new 20 by 20 radius now, too. Okay. That's eh. Like, I'm, I'm only using this thing for myself anyways. I don't really have a purpose to use it on anything else just yet. But oh well, I guess it's there if I need it. Oh yeah, I have to go pick up the puppies, because last time we accidentally tamed a bunch of, uh... Yeah, we accidentally tamed a bunch of direwolves by beating up their uh, pack leader last time. Almost forgot about that. We'll go pick them up at some point. Anyways, now I'm gonna head off and go get a little bit more Magisteel. Okay, so I haven't gotten super lucky as Magic Ore goes, but this should be enough to actually get us started at least. I'm in a slightly different part of the mine, so I'm just gonna mark it separately. And I have still yet to mark that place. I still- I just keep having to jump from the sky every time, because I, I'm just not marking it for some reason. Anyways, I'm, I'm just going to probably be able to make one pure Magisteel ingot, and then smelt it back into stuff, and then I guess we'll make some, like, high or low, depending on how much we have. But, anyways, I forgot to mention a couple of things that happened between episodes as well. So, I think I figured out why I made EP gain as big as it did, as I had it. And I have made it so that we're going to be earning a lot less EP from now on, because we were gaining like 2,000 per kill, which is way more than it should have been. Turns out there's a config option that I think makes it so that before you... Before EP calculation goes through, there's a config in there that I think is supposed to give you a percent of max. Like, as example, this thing has 3,665 EP. I think from base, it's supposed to take half of that before doing the EP calculation. And for whatever reason, I think I had it to like 100% or something like that. So I was gaining like, I was taking the full amount rather than half the amount. And then from there, I changed it so that we got 5% of that amount instead of 3% like base. Which together made it stupid amounts. <laughs> Like, way more than it should have been, way more than I even meant for it to. So I have fixed it, so I... Actually, I think I put it back to default. So from now on... Um... You have 630? 39785. 39785. Yeah, that gave us 12. That seems a bit more correct, especially compared to how much EP it actually had. And also, I have picked a fight with a whole bunch of... Whole bunch of fish now. That wasn't my greatest idea, but I needed to I needed to do it for science. Anyways, other than that, there is a cool structure. Or yeah, I'll, I'll say structure that I found while I was getting the thumbnail for the last video that I completely forgot to run over to and show. We're, I'm, I'm gonna go showcase that in just a moment. But uh let me deal with inventory stuff, and then let me let me get the rest of the uh, magic ore smelting real quick, and then I have something to go show you. Also, let me deal with all the fish. I have 100% made a mistake here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'll be back. Ah. Uh... Okay, so I think that's now enough for me to get an ingot of the stuff, at least. Also, while underground, I found a couple of mimics, and we got the bunny hoppers, which are probably my favorite artifact. Jump boost and no fall damage is so good. And I also kind of love how cute they are. And we also got this antidote vessel, so negative effects won't last as long anymore, which is also very good. 
two very powerful artifacts just randomly underground. Now let's turn you into pure Magisteel, which does in fact give us this gear schematic, meaning that you're kind of pointless. <laughs> so we can now make stuff out of pure Magisteel, including the character reset scroll. Ooh, the dragon knuckles, which actually make us weaker, which I still think is funny. Um, Magisteel. Oh, look at it. It's so cool looking, but it's so expensive. Oh, we're nowhere near that yet. Oh, I want that sword so badly, though. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, we're we're going to have to settle for a lesser Magisteel for right now. That can actually just get smelted back up in here. And then... 11.25. How much do I need for, like, high Magisteel? High Magisteel needs... Four. Uh, I could only get two ingots of high Magisteel. That's not enough for anything, really. I could get a high Magisteel longsword, I guess. No, that takes three. Just a regular high Magisteel sword? Oh, that's 20 attack damage! Um, that's probably worth it. What about low Magisteel? Um, low Magisteel... Oh, I can't make the special ones, but... Um, only 12? But I could make... I can make 11 low Magisteel. Hmm. Ah, I wish I was able to find more of that stuff. Hmm. How much for, like, the other ones, like Mithril and all that stuff? Um, let's see. Where are you on this list? Where's all the ores and stuff? So, Mithril needs five. So, yeah, I'd, again, only get two Mithril, but again, a Mithril sword would be cool. Or a Calcum also needs five. Adamantite, you can't even make, apparently. You can't make that one, either. That needs that needs low Magisteel, and it is used for the character roll stuff. What's some of the things in here? Like, I could make the winged shoes, which are a little bit of speed and a little bit of step height. Again, probably not that important. Um... Let's make some high Magisteel, I guess. I can only get two, but that's enough for a very powerful sword. Or... Or a little bit better armor. Because I can make 11... I can make 11 low Magisteel. Which would be enough for a sword and then nine left over for the chest plate, at least. No, no, we're gonna make high. I'm, I'm very ooh and ah ooh and ahing over this, but we're going to make high Magisteel. So it's made with five iron to every four. Which means just put ten pieces of iron in there, which I'm assuming each of these is one to one, right? Nine. Oh, okay, so just put one iron ingot and one iron nugget. That will give me the ten I need and I won't have any leftovers. Just use sticks, I don't feel like wasting any coal for those, like, two things. Um, is that gonna work, or do I need to put the extra stick in there? Of course I need to put the extra stick in there. <laughs> Couldn't have been that easy. Oh, I didn't even notice the... How did I not notice that? Actually, I can make one high Magisteel, which will get me that, and then I can make one... Low Magisteel? Or not? Why can I not make the Low Magisteel now? Um... Actually curious. I Magisteel, smelt that back up, it goes into a space thing. One Low Magisteel will again get me this. Smelt that back up, and then we're going to go in and get the two high. Oh, and then I can just get the uh, iron nuggets back out of here. Cool. Get put in an extra stick, because apparently that wasn't enough. Really? <laughs> Are you kidding me? 
<laughs> so that thing just sort of lies about how much can be smelted up by each thing. Because it's, it's not one stick, but it's also not two sticks. Come on. Now give me two high magisteels, no more iron in here, and just a little bit of that left. Cool. What else is in here now? The high magisteel stuff is pretty good armor, actually. High magisteel um, here's the sword. Here's what we're going to be making. A noba. An... Oh. They make a goblin club. So, canoba, canabo, canabo. That should not be a hard word to pronounce, but I'm bad at words. Oh, I can make these in here now, I, though I think I already could, and I just didn't, didn't notice it. Staff of slime with a slime core and low magisteel. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Um, okay. A lot of cool stuff in here now. Um, let's go in and make the high magisteel sword, though. I don't have any sticks, because I just used them all up. There we go. And we now have a very good sword. Which this has, yeah, this has existence points to gain. Um, hmm. This is weird. It has a different attack cycle than the, uh, like, basic swords. Oh, this thing's not gonna break. Oh, that's so good. This thing can't evolve into pure Magisteel, can it? That would be very cool if it could. Be careful swinging this around. I will kill a villager very easily. <laughs> Oh, but I feel so much better with this cool sword. I have some cool new artifacts. This thing is awesome. This is... <laughs> okay. Anyways, obviously I need to go gather more Magisteel at some point. But for right now, I have a cool thing to go showcase. So... Goblins. <gasps> I found goblins at, uh, just after I uh, ended recording last time. It's nighttime, for, so they're all sleeping. But, uh... But, uh but I finally found one of the cooler mobs. Okay, it's still not enough of a one-shot bar guest, even with an extra 20 attack power, unless I use strength. They're probably a good test. I think you have a little bit more health. Okay. Okay, I can probably take on that feathered serpent from last time now. I, I feel a lot better now. Also... Diamond Path should probably be on something that I can more ac more quickly get to, so I can always have it activated in case I need to take a big hit and defend myself. Anyways, what is in this little goblin village? A whole bunch of iron, some food, and some wool. Some pretty good stuff there. Slime. Um, Leech Lizard, you've caused me a lot of strife over the series. Still a two-shot, despite the fact that I now have an extra 20 attack damage. Also, trying to hit them's a bit of a pain. Do I just remove better combat, or do I just keep it at this point? It's kind of, I feel like it's kind of a little too late to get rid of it. It's not that bad, it's just I'm not used to it, so I don't like it, I think. Anyways, I have some- I need to protect the goblins. It's too late! It's too late to protect the goblins. Some of them are already dead. Because they sleep on the ground outside instead of in their houses. Which is silly. <laughs> um, are there two goblins left? There's only two goblins left. Oh my goodness. Ooh, short, squirts, short sword schematic. Which I think we already had. Um, hello goblin friends. Yeah, I think I need to leave this place before I get the rest of them killed. Because, uh, they're in danger. <laughs> just from existing, just from me existing near them, I've gotten, like, four of them killed. Um, is, this, is it just this tiny little house? This is a very small little goblin village. Oh, that's a metal slime. That's, that's actually our first time seeing you. I have mastered sense sound wave now. These are a very rare spawn where every time a... Yeah, every time you see a slime spawn, there's a very low chance it will be a metal slime instead. 
And they're very fast. I'm not entirely sure why... Uh, I thought I had killed it. No. Ugh. Metal slimes are an issue. They do this. Like, the fact that I managed to get a picture of one is actually kind of a miracle. <laughs> um. Where are ya? There you are. Especially with... Aw, oh, you're going to be a pain. I... These things can drop a magic ore. I had actually thought about them uh, when I was trying to gather it, but I was like, no, the odds of one spawning aren't that great, and then they're almost impossible to kill. But then one spawned immediately. And we're only dealing with the almost impossible to kill part. Ah. Uh, the swing is just too slow, and they have too much regen. These things... Ah. Uh, Hold on, did that thing land in the water? A very good way to deal with these things is to get them in the water, because they can't really swim, because they're made of metal. <laughs> Where is it? Aha, I gotcha. Aha, there we go. 15 magic ore. Ooh, that's an extra... That's an extra almost four. Actually four with what we have. High metal, or high magic ore. I am also very low on magicules. Ooh, I just activated. <laughs> I've actually went into wrath. Yay. Hello, Blade Tiger. Ow. <laughs> I did like 50 health to that thing in one swing. Which is it's nice. But then it did the same thing back to me and I just crumple like a wet tissue. <laughs> I am still very, very squishy. Oh, wait, no, you don't give one. You only give 0.25, which means that is only... Yeah, that's only 3.75, which will bring us to seven, which is only enough for one more high Magisteel. That's a little sad. I, I forgot how this worked and thought I got a little bit more than I did. But... <laughs> yeah. This this continues to not be an easy mod pack. I, no matter how well kitted up I am, I will just die. I need that dragon essence. I need to evolve. Because right now, right now, I'm just not strong enough to survive in this world. Anyways, I do want to get to some exploration. Uh, we found a goblin village and promptly got most of them killed. But there are a bunch of other cool structures that we can find while we're out and about. Plus, there's also a whole bunch of cool new mobs that we haven't found either. Ah, oh, this sword is so good, though. I feel so much better now. <gasps> Puppy, I'm sorry. I thought you were a bar guest. Aw, now I'm sad. <laughs> anyway... Um, ex exploration. Um, we need to kill more dragons and hopefully get dragon essence. We need to... I, there is a couple very good structures I need to find. I guess I'm back to running about... Which direction haven't I really explored? I actually feel better about exploring on land now. And of course, this is all cold biomes, though, which means that if and when I do find dragons, it's just going to be more ice dragons. And I really don't like fighting ice dragons. They're, they have a habit of crashing the game, and plus they just make it impossible to move and actually fight properly. So it's always more than a little annoying. Well, well, if that's what we gotta fight, that's what we gotta fight. I need to kill a whole bunch of them and hopefully get some Dragon Essence going. So, I'm just gonna keep going in this direction. I'll be back if I find anything cool. I found a... I, th I found an enemy called Corvin the Rotten. This is one of the better bosses or whatever it is. Serious dedication. Oh, it gave me a netherite hoe. Thank you ever so much. All the cool things it could have given me. Because apparently those things can give some very good Tenshura items. Ah oh, well, F figured just in case I'd at least get on camera. But nope, nothing cool that time. 
Anyways, I also forgot I need food. <laughs> I had originally planned to go back to that castle that's half cleared and just gather all the food out of that place as I could, because I can probably just run around in that place no problem now. But I completely forgot and just started going in a random direction. <laughs> oh, oh well, we have a little bit of food. We'll be fine for a little bit. That's a cool structure that we can't loot yet without the right key. But, uh, anyways, nothing else other than that one little boss. Oops. I'll be back with something actually interesting now. Well, I would say that classifies as interesting. <laughs> you don't see Cyclops very often. There's not a very common spawn. But hello, giant friend. Um, I'm curious how much AP you have. Ooh, almost 10,000. You'll be a good source of stuff. You're like a six shot? I don't want to be eaten, thank you very much. At This is not going very well. Thank you, I- my name is nobody. 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 Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, probably not a very place for these, uh, not a very safe place for these villagers to live. Um, but I took care of the issue for them. <laughs> I'm gonna take all of this raw mutton because I am in dire straits needing food. <laughs> Anyways, I should also take a pair of shears. But anyways, I did not check how. How did I get sixty-four thousand EP? Wasn't I at like forty thousand a little while ago? What happened there? <laughs> I am confused. How did I just gain like 20,000 EP in like no time flat? We, we saw, I, I only earned 12 a moment ago, right? From whatever it was I was fighting, the like fish. Why did that one, why did I suddenly just gain like 2,000 out of nowhere? It's not like I killed a whole bunch of stuff. Oh yeah, Metal Slimes actually have a pretty insane amount of EP. I didn't even get a chance to look at it. So that could have been it, I suppose. Also, this entire village is burning to the ground. Um, Sorry, friends. I can't help. Bye. I do, however, want to go beat up you. As, again, you might have random good loot for me. <laughs> turn on Strength. Turn on Diamond Path, which I did not have active during the Cyclops fight. Um, good base game resources, not good Tenshura stuff. Oh, well. But <laughs> well, we found one of the Ice and Fire creatures. That, that's kind of interesting. Still not dragons. I need to fight dragons, Came. Why are they not spawning? <laughs> like, I found one dragon in the entire, in all of this, when usually it would be like four or five. Because this game usually loves to spawn in dragons when you don't really want to fight a million of them. <laughs> I can fly. Why am I why am I trying to pillar? I can fly. <laughs> I, I keep forgetting I can fly for some reason. Anyways, I'm still in exploration mode. But I have yet to find the cool structures I'm actually after, though. Just a a bunch of villagers. So many villages. I guess there's like three structure mobs, mods, blah, that all add in extra types of villages. So I guess that's making them super common at this point. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm still just exploring. I figured I'd come back for uh, giant slaying, but I'll be back with you. Hopefully dragon slaying instead. Oh, those are goblins. Hold on. As, as I'm about to click away, I was like, wait, hold on. I know what that structure is. Um, is that just one of the peacocks? I think it is. Hello! This goblin village looks a little bit safer, and it's quite a bit bigger. Actually sleeping in a house, good for you. <sighs> I keep finding goblin villages as it hits nighttime, though. Not exactly the safest time for them. <laughs> Any of these actually have structures? Or chests or anything? I've been in one of these in a test world, and I won... And, and I know for a fact they can have chests, because I found schematics in them. I guess it's only the ones with the, like, banners, though? Yep. And this time it was just a couple apples. 
oh well, I'll mark this place as Goblins 2 so I can come back. Goblins 2? Sure, why not? I will i don't feel like fixing it. <laughs> so, I'm going to leave before I get all these Goblins eaten. Although it might already be too late. And I'm just going to keep running. Forever, apparently, until I can find the cool things. Do we try it again? The last time we tried this, it didn't go very well, and we had Wrath activated. This time, I don't even have that. But I want to kill one of those tigers, just for revenge reasons. <laughs> also, there's a house there that I looted some food out of, and it actually had a map to a jungle of ruins. Which means that somewhere's south a long ways, we can actually go find a jungle, which probably means some new Tenshura mobs to fight. So I'm definitely going to start heading that way in a little bit. Insta-dad! I thought I had defense activated too, but nope, just insta-dad. I, I need to evolve, but I can't find dragons! What is happening, game? Please just give me dragons to fight. That's all I'm asking for. I have not made them rarer, and they're usually pretty common. <laughs> Is, is all of these extra structure mods making it so they don't spawn in? I really should have just made my own mod pack instead of just relying on one that was suggested, but it's kind of too late now. <laughs> Anyways, where's that latest death? I want to start running from there. Um, One of only two fights on... Uh, one of only two deaths on the fifth. Oh, you have 100 health. And you're just going to keep spawn camping me every time I go over there. <laughs> Cool. Thanks. Just spawn in and run. <laughs> Obvi I would feel kind of cheaty getting my final, finally getting a kill on those things by just like spawn camping it. <laughs> but anyways, I'm just going to keep. You might actually be good ex a a EP. You have like 10,000 of it. 64449. Okay, like 500 EP for killing one of those things. That's actually pretty good. Ooh, you're a, uh, you're a boss one. Uh, come on. Die. Thank you. Anything good? Not really. Those ones always just seem to drop the, uh... Go kindly right away. Actually, your teeth have some cool uses. Can I please hit you? Thank you. This game has... The water is not safe. Ooh! Oh, we got the teeth more or less instantly. Nice. Um, anything that can go in can't will. And now just time to run. I'm just... I'm just gonna go now. I am faster than those fish, although it's not much difference. Especially if I end up stopping to eat or whatever. You good for a moment? I think we're good for a moment. I can actually eat now. But this has worked out. We're apparently finding new structure, uh, new biomes and whatnot immediately. And this will get us a whole lot closer to a jungle. Although this biome is going to continue to only have lizards. There are so many mo cool new mobs. And for whatever reason, we only see like three different types of them always, no matter where we go. It's a little sad. Ah, that's just a cockatrice. I thought it was something cool, but nope. Just a nice and fire mob that kind of just exists. <laughs> Whee! Uh, what is that biome? That's ash. That's a dragon nest, I think. Did we finally find one? <laughs> um, what's, what's on the map over there? No, nothing interesting, just slimes, bar guests, hound dogs, and whatnot. Oh, that's the bridge. I'm just a goof. I don't want to die. I'm running. But what is that biome? Hmm. And then I'm, I'm less sure that that's ash now, but I think it's ash. I think that's a dragon nest. Hopefully. Nope, nope, there's more of that block everywhere. Oh, it's mud. A oh, it's a mangrove swamp. And that, ma that makes sense. I've 
don't think I've ever seen one of these things. But this is where frogs are supposed to spawn in from, like, base game, right? I think... You, you can tell how little I play in versions up this high. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi, Dragon Peacock. Sorry about this. I need your feathers. Oh, look, frogs. I was right. A little, a little bit of lag. Whole bunch of mobs just eating some cows and stuff. So we're in a completely new area. Like, we technically have a new biome in the savanna and the mangrove swamp. It just doesn't look like they're spawning anything differently, which is a bit sad. But, anyways, I'm just going to keep running for a little bit longer. Really? Once again, I can fly. <laughs> Why do I keep forgetting that I can fly? That's kind of a big deal. <laughs> Um, that's just one of the, like, not dragon flying ice and fire things. I don't remember what they're called right now. Again, not that big of a deal. Most of the ice and fire things aren't that interesting, except for the major ones. How far south is that? Because we finally found a jungle and we're not even on this map. Although, hopefully we'll start seeing new ice and, uh, new Tenshura mobs spawn in pretty soon. Right now it's just the same old, same old. Anyways, I'm just going to keep heading this direction. I'll see you in just another moment. Oh, hello there. You're new. Can I c come say hi? Hello, winged cat. You're adorable. Uh, <laughs> this thing is very cute. I don't want to fight it. But again, just like everything in Tenshura, it'll probably kill me. <laughs> just because that's how this seems to go. No matter how strong I feel, no matter how good my gear, everything I fight will just one sh will just kill me. Oh, I can only do about two damage to this thing. Or like a damage and a half. It's only got about 8,600. Okay. Oh, it can teleport. Okay. Oh, I'm dead. I'm gonna die here. Ah, uh, come on. I am stuck. I am stuck. I don't want to die. Is that thing still chasing me? Oh, it has air attacks, too. Also, I am not regenning, which means that this thing has the Severer skill. <laughs> which is extra terrifying. Like, this thing has a very powerful, unique skill. Yeah, I... I, I I survived that fight, which is actually an improvement over most of our other fights. But I did not win. <laughs> Every time I look at a new Tenshiro mob, it's like, can I win in a fight? Maybe. The answer is no. The answer is always no. <laughs> and, uh, I was very confused what that was for a moment. It's just a panda. <laughs> can I can I start regenning yet? Can I, can I get health back? I, I, I kind of want it. <laughs> This is really not an easy mob. This is not an easy mod, not mob. And apparently I have just made a bad choice because I cannot evolve without fighting dragons and I need to be strong to fight dragons and I can't be strong unless I can evolve. Plus, you know, I need dragons which do not want to spawn. <laughs> this, this game is being rude. Like, this, actually the game's just kind of being a little rude. But, Anyways, that's just like a witch's hut or something. I think it probably is. Anything else interesting, or is this just a bunch of birds? I think it's just a bunch of birds. Um, where's the door to this place? Here it is. Yeah, just a little hut in the woods, uh, in the bot, in the swamp. <laughs> but. Anyways, looking at the time, that's probably a pretty good place to end things off. I'm at 2 HP. Yay, I cannot enter that desert. I will get eaten by worms. <laughs> Although deserts probably have things. Can I, can I start regening yet? That would be nice. What are you? Ooh, orc! Orc, orc, orc! Yay! I actually found a cool new thing. Pictures. No idea what the thumbnail of this one's going to be. Probably be like 
probably the kiln and like the magic sword because that's like the major thing that happened at the beginning other than that it's just been exploration who knows but anyways eventually sufferer will go away and i will start regening that would be nice any other cool mobs or is it just the orcs looks like it's just the orcs once again i'm forgetting that i can fly actually it's a whole bunch of orcs Cool, we'll get back to exploration next time, where we're going to keep heading south towards this jungle, where this jungle ruins map takes us. And hopefully find dragons. I'm stuck as just a little lizard until I can find dragons, and the game just says no. <laughs> but, anyways, I want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed as much as I have, and hope to see you next time. So without further ado, take care everybody.